Okay, yeah, this is the Idea 2.0. This is the I-15. Really popular floor plan for us, uh, really lightweight. Um, this one's got the, uh, the manual crank on the, on the front there. It's an option for the power jack, so you can push, push the button and it'll go up and down for you. If not, it's lightweight enough. You don't have to strain yourself too hard on that. But a really cool front cap on there. It's a molded one-piece uh, fiberglass front cap. Um, really cool idea, 2.0 graphics on there, really catches the eye. Um, if you look up top there, you've got the uh, chrome bezel lighting. Just a really cool look, and those are all LED lights. But also you can see the grooves in the idea 2.0. These, uh, these grooves down low here actually help when you're towing that trailer to force the trailer down to hold the road better. So you've got better control when you're driving. Plus, you get a little better gas mileage because it's not stipping, sticking up in the air too much. So that's a really cool. And plus, this is so easy to clean and keep clean. Plus, it covers all the corners on here so you don't have any corners exposed when you're going down the road. So that makes it really, really nice that way. The, uh, the siding that we put on the IDEA 2.0 is the gel coat siding. Um, a lot of companies will use the fiberglass uh, exterior, uh, which is the Phylon which shows a lot of grain. If you look real close at that, there's no grain at all. Um, it's going to stay that consistency for a long, long time. And uh, you don't have to wax it or anything like that. Just soap and water is fine on the gel coat, so you don't have to sp pay any special attention to that. A nice big awning on the outside here, too. Um, this goes about the full length of the trailer, which is really, really nice. Um, so that way you can set some chairs and card tables out here and just uh, be camping. If you look at the windows, are the frameless windows, which gives it a really, really cool look. Um, you can option those up to a dual pane uh, frameless window also, but just a really neat look. You can see how dark they are, so you don't, you got your privacy in the inside. Plus, you don't have to worry about uh, your fabrics fading out over time on the inside there too. So that's a really cool benefit to that. And you do have a really nice. Uh, storage area down here that just opens up and you've got a lot of storage under there you've got uh, electrical outlets on the outside here so if you wanted to do some uh, uh, yard work or something like that uh, put your weed whacker in there and plug it in or if you wanted to put your awning out and hang some lights i see a lot of people do that when they go to the campgrounds but this is cool too you, if you're at a campground with access to cable tv you can plug your cable tv right into there and watch that on the interior. On the IDEA 2.0, we went from a single axle to a dual axle, and that will help tremendously on your towing this down the road. It won't be as, as uh, fishtaily or squirrely for you, so it'll be a lot smoother ride. Uh, also, you've got the mag wheels on there, which just gives it a neat look, and uh, it's uh, a lot lighter weight than what the steel wheels are. Nice beefy handle on the outside here too. So when you go to get in there, it's not one of those cheap plastic handles that break off. And another big thing that we've done is we, we do two steps on there. So rather than a single step where it's really hard to get up in there, it's just so easy to get up into the trailer this way. So it makes it nice, that's for sure. Uh, again, you've got the chrome bezel lighting on the outside here too, your turn signals. And all up top there, those are all LED, uh, so it's really bright, and they come on the second that you turn your uh, turn signals on or you hit your brakes, those will come on for you. So makes it really nice. <coughs> also, if you look up top there, you'll see a curve to our roof. So rather than having a flat roof where everything, all the leaves and twigs and water and all that stuff can collect, um, what it does is it gives a place to run off. So it makes it really nice that way. And then also we use an oversized bumper here too. So you can actually pull that cap off and store your sewer hose right inside there. So that way you don't have to waste one of your storage compartments on the outside there doing the sewer hose. But real easy to use there. And then also we use the uh, extended gutter uh, spouts on there. So that way you don't get the black streaks on the sides. It's out far enough to where it'll miss the side completely and then that way you don't have to use as much elbow grease to clean off that black streaks. Uh, it does have the outside shower on the on the outside here too which is cool and then another cable inlet here too so if you're at the campground with the cable TV you can plug that in there and then on the other side you can watch a regular TV on that side so if you want to watch TV outside you can do it. 
Um, and then this is where you dump your uh, tanks at. So we've got them color coded. This is a gray tank release valve there, black tank there, but a real easy place to get to them at. And a neat thing too is right above your where you dump your sewer stuff at, you've got your exterior shower. So if you do happen to get some of that on your hands, you can open that up and clean everything right off. So it makes it nice and clean for everybody. Uh, got the furnace built on. That's what that is. And then up top here, this is a uh, vent over the stove top there. So when you go in to cook something, you can turn that on, turn your fan on, and it'll bring everything out here. So it makes it really, really nice that way. You got a nice vent for your battery in there. And then this is uh, where you plug in your 30 amp shore power cord. And then this is your fresh water connection here. You can do your city water connection is what they call it. And you can hook a hose directly up to that and have unlimited supply of water. And then the other one here, you can fill your actual water tank. So you put that right in there and then that uh, fills your tank. And then the last thing we have on here is your water heater. Uh, that'll give you nice hot water and you're good to go camping. So yeah, this is the inside of the uh, IDEA 15, I-15, uh, IDEA 2.0. Uh, really, really cool interior. I've got a lot of storage space in here if you open this up. Nice big hanging closet. You can see that rod there. You can hang all kinds of shirts and dresses and whatever else you got. So it makes it really nice and you've got room down there to stack things also. Uh, another nice big storage area down there for whatever you need to store when you're camping. Makes it really, really nice. And then up top here, even more storage. So again, um, with the idea to uh, 2.0, we went for functionality on this. That was one of the big, big things that we wanted to make sure that we had the functionality uh, while keeping it lightweight, that's for sure. Um, another neat thing is we've got the dinette here, which is really cool. It's got the leatherette uh, uh, stylings in there, which is really cool. Granite coat countertops in here. We make these right in house. Um, really cool, really sturdy, uh, really lightweight, um, and real easy to clean and keep clean. So that's a nice big thing there. Let me pull this button here. That's our battery disconnect switch right down here. And once I do that, you can see all of the lights come on. So what's neat about that is if you did leave a light on here accidentally, it wouldn't uh, zap your battery out. So that's a neat, neat thing that not a whole lot of other manufacturers do. Uh, but you can see even the uh, cabinet doors light up here. That's a, kind of a smoked glass. Looks really cool. But you can see how much storage you have in there and you can see how deep that is. But also we have the reverse hinges on there that keep that elevated up so that when you're loading your things in there, you're not fighting with this door trying to keep that open. So that's a really neat benefit there. And quite roomy in here too. So I'm a a fairly large guy and I can fit in this seat very comfortably and it's at a nice height too where you can eat a nice meal. Uh, you do have these nice uh, what they call jalousy style windows and that just cranks open like so. Real easy to do um, and it gets a lot of nice airflow going through there but the neat thing with this is if it is raining outside you don't have to worry about the water coming inside because it's at that angle you don't have to worry about it coming in here so makes it really cool that's for sure. And then you do have a charging center up here. You've got like a 12 volt and uh, USB ports up here for your all your computer uh, needs and, and uh, phone charging needs. So that makes it really cool. We're uh, really advanced in the technology department too. But what's cool about this too is you've got this that comes down. So if you need your privacy, if you're changing in here or whatever, uh, or if you're going to sleep, you can pull that down and block all the light out from coming in. But that's really cool. And then you do have a, a nice uh, plug-in down here. So if you wanted to connect any electrical devices or whatever there, you got a nice roof vent right in the middle there. And then up top here again, you do have the lighted uh, cabinets up there. But a really cool bed here. Um, really, it's the upgraded uh, bed mattress on there, uh, bed spread on there, so it makes it cool. This one has the um, side-mounted air conditioner on here. And for a 15-foot unit, that's... That's all you need. If, if you go down south, it may get a little warmer and you can put the optional uh, roof mounted air conditioner in this spot here. So that's what that's all about. 
but also in the idea 2.0 uh, you've got a really cool backsplash there um, when you're when you're cooking or, or washing dishes whatever sometimes that has a tendency to splash up on your wall border there so rather than ruining that it'll go right on that and you can just take a towel and wipe that right down. Or if you're cooking grease splatters, you can just wipe that right off. So that's a really cool thing too. Also, you've got the granite coat countertops here. And if you look here, there's no seams at all there. So when you wipe this down, you don't have any fluids or, or breadcrumbs or anything going down in there. It just wipes right off. So makes it really nice that way. Um, and also, if you look at the floor, it's uh, all one piece linoleum. Now this linoleum goes from full side to side and front to back. So what's cool about that is it goes even underneath all these cabinets all the way around there. So if you brought a cooler in here or something like that and it happened to spill out, it's not going to go through and rot your, your floor out. And it is a, uh, a true plywood floor. It's not the OSB floor on here. So it'll last a long, long time. Probably the same type of floor you have in your home. So that's, that's a good thing. Uh, this has got the microwave built in. Got two burner stove. This opens up for really nice big storage area in there. And then if you'll notice under here, we actually put a toe kick in here. Um, and it's also lighted. You can see how neat and lighted that is. So what you can do is at nighttime, you can turn all your other lights off. Just leave that on. So if you have to go to the restroom at night, you got a nice clear path and you don't have to wake everybody up in the camper turning on every light in the place. But what's nice about the toe kick is when you're doing dishes, instead of having to stand back here and do your dishes and hurt your back you can actually get up there close and do it and you don't have any strain on your back so that's a really neat advantage of having that toe kick there another big big thing we did on the 2.0 is we went to the six cubic foot refrigerator and freezer um, so that's a big big improvement um, instead of the little three cubic foot um, which used to sit under here and you had to bend over and do that this is right here can open the big freezer open the big refrigerator so it makes it really really nice convenient uh, again with the idea 2.0 we went for functionality anything we can do to make it easier for you to go camping and have a good experience camping that's what we did uh, all the interior lighting is the LED lighting just like on the outside um, makes it really really nice that way And then a real good size bathroom. You've got uh, a corner shower there that's real easy to get in and out of. You don't have a big step to get up in and out of. And also we put that little sunroof uh, up top there so you got extra uh, room in the, uh, in the headroom there. Uh, but also we redesigned that whole back end so you've got uh, another four inches to stand in the shower. So that's again that functionality uh, of the idea 2.0 is definitely uh, where it's at. But just a great trailer, really well made uh, all the way around. So that's your idea 2.0.